you're having a great day. I have a beautiful long wig to show you guys today, but before I get to that, let me tell you about this topper that I'm wearing. This is the John Renault Top Style Synthetic in color 10RH16. It is my go-to topper for summer. Really easy to wear, really easy to pull up in a ponytail or an updo when you gotta get your hair off your neck because it's just so hot outside right now. Uh, so the John Renault Top Style Synthetic in 18 inch is the piece I am wearing. All right, back to the piece I'm gonna show you guys today. This is Alexandra. It is part of the Alexander Couture Collection that Renee of Paris has just put out. A beautiful long synthetic wig. Uh, the color I am showing you is called Coffee coffee latte. It is a dark to medium brown base and then it has these beautiful kind of caramel and lighter pieces running through it. It definitely gives off an overall warm color. It's not rooted. You can see the highlights go all the way to the cap here. Um, but at the front, you can see some of the highlights coming through. I mean, it's definitely not as bold of a highlight as this piece, but it is very well done and naturally kind of woven in there. So it is a very beautiful color. I like the richness and the warmness of this color. I haven't worn anything dark in a while, so this will be fun to try on. All right, going back to the cap construction, this does have a lace uh, front and a lace part. You can see there's not a ton of lace here in the front. Well, I can even show you. Well, I'll show you what I put it on. It's kind of hard to pull all these bangs back. Now, it does have a very kind of blunt bang to it right here. Um, so it gives it um, a definite look. Um, I don't know if bangs are your thing, but this one has a, a pretty heavy blunt bang to it. Um, again, it has the lace part and then just open wefting in the back for some great stretch, adjustable ear tabs and adjustable nape. Now let's see, this is a little over a five ounce piece. That's a lot of hair. Um, synthetic, of course, is a lot lighter than human hair, so it's not super, super heavy for this long and this much of hair on this piece. The crown is about 16 and a half inches and then the nape is about 16 and a half inches. So an overall, a very long, kind of wavy, synthetic piece. All right, I think that's all I can say about her. I'm going to go try her on. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Renee of Paris's Alexandra. All right, here she is. I had to back way up to get all this hair in the frame, but uh, she's beautiful. I really, really like her. Um, the thing I noticed with this wig, like it's very long, and the thing I don't like when uh, a manufacturer makes a long wig, if they layer it and it feels heavy up top and then they layer it so thin that at the bottom it looks scraggly and so the top doesn't match the density of the bottom and vice versa. This one is really well done. It's not super dense up top and it's not, um, it's not the thickest wig. I mean, I think it's a great density. It's not too scraggly. It's not overly thick, but most importantly, the densities match up, if that makes sense. So I really like uh, how they did this wig. Like I said, it's not a, a ton of hair, um, but it's just enough and it's really well done. And I do like this fringe, how it can swoop and you, know, you can kind of swoop out of your eyes and it's not heavy in your face. I was playing around that. I kind of feel like, um, Zoe Deschanel, a new girl, how <laughs> she has the, the darker hair and the blunt bangs. Now the bangs or the fringe is really long. I'm, I mean, the wig is pulled way, way back trying to get the, um, the bangs out of my eyes. So I don't think I would wear them straight down. Ooh, it's really poking me. I would definitely wear them swooped like that. I don't think they are short enough on me to be able to wear them straight down and have that kind of blunt front bang, but pulling them to the side is definitely a better way to go. Now this piece does have a lace front to it, which is odd because it does have the fringe, but let's see if I can get my hair to cooperate so you can see. So I guess that lace front is just in case um, your fringe flies up in the wind. I don't know. I don't really know why <laughs> they have a lace front. Um, if they're going to have a thick blunt bang like this, but it's an option and it's there if you need it. It also does have um, a lace part to it. So the lace part is over here on the left. Um, but again, this piece is pretty, 
dense up top and it wouldn't really, I don't think it would look unnatural if you didn't have a definite part up here. Um, if you wanted to make it look more realistic, you could kind of pluck a few fibers away from the lace part to kind of open up the part a little bit and make it look a little bit more natural. I think when you have a really thick kind of closed in part, it looks more wiggy, but the more you can open it up, the more natural it looks. So you could definitely do that with this piece. And the color is really beautiful. I know you can see some of the highlights there in the in the sunlight. But again, this is coffee latte is the color. So a dark brown look to it. And then those warm kind of caramelly highlights give it just enough to kind of break up the the dark brown. I think it's beautifully highlighted. Not too much. Um, I love it. I think this is a great long piece. You just have to know that um, it has a thicker bang. So if you want to wear a bang like that, this would be a great option for you. It fits really good on my head as an average cap size. It's not um, too tight. Everything is where it's supposed to be. And it's not super heavy. I don't feel like this would be an uncomfortable piece, you know, like by the end of the day, you're just hot and you're like, oh, get it off kind of thing. I think this would be a very comfortable um, piece to wear. And another thing it has going for it, when you wear a long synthetic piece, it's going to get tangled. That's just the way long synthetic pieces are. And then you add some curl into the mix and it makes it extra tangly. But I think this is a loose enough curl pattern. It's not going to get super, super tangly and knotted. Um, it's definitely, if anywhere, it'll get tangly here at the nape and the back, just where it kind of rubs against your back um, and on your neck. But if you just pick it out gently, it should keep the curls intact and looking good. And then to, um, to kind of restructure the curls, you can just get it wet and then twist and it will help the curls stay in place. But overall, a very beautiful piece. I really, really like this one. I think Renee Paris did an excellent job um, with Alexandra from the Alexander Couture Collection. All right, if you need Alexandra in your life, head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com. The manufacturer is Renee of Paris. This style is Alexandra. And the color I'm wearing today is coffee latte. I'll see you guys next time.